Hi guys, my name is Bill, and in this video I want to show you how to troubleshoot the motor on your dryer. Now the first couple things I want to go over when you're troubleshooting the motor on your dryer is I'm going to give you a couple symptoms and basically it's going to narrow it down real quick. If you have a dryer that when you start it and it runs, and say it runs for 15 or 20 minutes and at some point it shuts off, and you notice that it didn't finish the cycle, you walk by the dryer, it's only 20 minutes in and it's off and you try to hit the start button, it won't start. Now, let's say an hour passes after that and you hit the start button and it fires back up. You definitely have a bad dryer motor because they're thermally protected. So when the dryer motor overheats and then basically it cools down, it's going to fire back up and start. So if you have that symptom, you definitely know that you have a bad dryer motor and you just need to order a new one and replace it. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the motor from your dryer taking the blower wheel off and getting it out of the dryer so when you do get a new motor you know how to easily replace it. One more indication that's going to tell you that you have a bad dryer motor is that if you start the dryer say it runs for a few minutes maybe five ten minutes and you want to add something to it you open up the door throw some more clothes in and try to immediately start it back up and it won't fire up. You definitely have a bad dryer motor and again if you wait like an hour Go to hit the start button again it's going to fire back up so you definitely have a bad dryer motor one more indication is that when you hit the start button on your dryer if you hear a loud hum or a buzz and then it fires up with a little hesitation like then it fires up that means your motor is probably maybe a few months week from not firing back up now one more you know as it progressively gets worse Eventually you're gonna hit the start button and you're just gonna hear like a loud hum or a buzz and it'll never kick on What you can do is open up the door press in the door switch Have somebody hit the start button and kind of help the tub like give it a little kickstart it, It'll probably fire up at that point and You know, that's that's definitely a clear indication that your dryer motor needs replaced so th that's a real simple way to tell now if your dryer makes no noise when you press it press the start button like no hum no buzz or anything like that I mean it could be a bad motor but that could also be like a safety thermostat or some sort of you know thermal fuse or something like that now I have videos on how to check those I'll either put a link in the description or a little annotation or something over here when I get around to it but all right let's get into removing the motor from your dryer all right, so here's a good look at the dryer motor that we're gonna be taking out. Now the dryer that I'm working on here is a Kenmore 70 series. Now most dryer motors are gonna be very similar to how you take this one out. So basically there's a clip on the front and a clip on the back here. And I'm gonna show you how to remove those. And the back and the blower wheel. And I'm gonna show you how to take that off. All right, so the first step, once you have the dryer disassembled, the first step is you're gonna take your vice grips. Now, I recommend a bigger pair, but this is all I have right now. My other ones are at work. So I have this little pair, and you wanna attach them to the pulley. Like that, in that fashion, pointing that way. Okay, now that you got your vice grips attached to the motor, you wanna lay the dryer right on its face just like this because this is what we're going to work on right now now to remove the blower wheel you want to spin this clockwise and I'm telling you right now this is not going to be easy to take off this is where the hammer and the block of wood come comes in place now I've already loosened this one up one thing you want to be careful not to you know break the fins off obviously you want to use as much care as you can when you do this. Some blower wheels have something that you can get a big pair of channel locks on or a three quarter drive you know, socket extension you can stick in there and turn this. But a lot of these are smooth and I've found the easiest way to do that to grab and turn it as hard as you can. Now the vice grips are gonna prevent the motor shaft from turning. Now I've already had this one broken loose. I don't think you wanted to see me put a block of wood in here and hammer it and hammer it you're gonna do that and it's gonna be frustrating but eventually this will break loose 
and you'll be able to turn it. until it's completely off of the motor shaft. And then we can move on to the next step. Basically, we want to stand this dryer back up so we can get the clips off the motor. Okay, to remove the first clip, you want to take a pair of channel locks and grab this little tip that sticks up. And, and when you look at this real close, you're going to see how this is attached on there. It just snaps over a couple little clips. And I found that the easiest way is to use a pair of channel locks. Grab the tip. And pop it off one side. Once it's off one side, you can take it completely off. Now that's the front one. Now the back clip comes off exactly the same. It's a little bit bigger. And you want to do the exact same thing. Grab the little tip, pry up, and you'll be able to take the clip off like so. Now that we have both clips off, we can go ahead and pull the motor out. And once you get the motor out, and there you go all right so when you reinstall the new motor let me show you how to line it up now if you look right here on this bracket you're gonna see that little notch that little notch is gonna correspond with the little notch there so let's get this put in And you'll know when it's right, when you can't spin it, see how this spins. And as you turn it to the right position, it's going to lock into those notches. And then it's just a matter of putting the clips back on. Now I'm going to show you how to put the first clip back on. And then you can do the second one the same way. Alright, so to put the clips back on, basically, once your motor's lined up and it's in the right spot, Start one side and get the other side almost to where it needs to be. Now you can either press down, take your flathead screwdriver, kind of pry out, and then push down. Now to reinstall the blower wheel, you want to put your vice grips on the opposite way. Like that. Now we're going to lay the dryer back over. Now when you reinstall the blower wheel, Make sure it's on the shaft and not cross-threaded. It should spin pretty easy for the first few turns. Now your vice grips are going to stop the motor shaft from turning. And just make it snug. And that's going to be tight enough. Alright guys, so there's my video on how to diagnose and replace the motor when you're dryer. Now I hope that helps you guys out. Now if you want, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And thanks for watching. Now before I end the video, I want to tell you that on occasion I have broken the dryer wheel. So if you break the dryer wheel, the blower wheel, it's not because you've done anything wrong. It's just that older dryers, they get seized onto that motor shaft to the point where you know, unless you soak it with some sort of PB blaster or something like that, it may be brittle and break. So that may happen, and it's not really anything that you can do about it. I'd say 1 out of 20 may break, but they do get on there because they heat up, they cool down, they heat up, they cool down, they get, they get, they get on there pretty tight. But I just wanted to say that before I ended the video, because I know somebody's going to break one, and, and they're going to be mad about it, so... I'm just throwing that out there right now. I have broken them. I think every service guy has probably broken one at some point. It just happens. And they are a pain. So make sure you uh, have plenty of patience and try to keep your frustration levels to a minimum. But that's something that I'm sure that you guys are going to be capable of doing. And like I said, I hope this helps you guys out. And thanks for watching.